Okay, I'm going to try to explain this the best I can. I'll try to keep it simple. This is the Litecoin wallet. It's the program, obviously, that you use to send and receive Litecoin and to store your Litecoin. The main file that stores all that information is called the wallet.dat file that's within this program. So I'm going to, you don't have to remember how to get to this file, but I'm going to show you the hard way to get to it right now. Okay, so I t this is for Windows. It might be different on Mac, but you don't have to remember this because there's an easy w easier way to get to the file. But right now, I just typed in percentage app data percentage, and then I hit enter. That brings up this roaming folder. Okay, I click on the roaming folder. Here you see Litecoin. There's the Litecoin folder, and there you see wallet.dat. Okay, so that's where all the important information is for this wallet. This is the most important uh, file. So, when you go up here to File and you say Backup Wallet, I'm going to put it on my desktop. I got to put a name in. Hold on. Okay, so now you see Wallet.dat. So all this is, all this did right now is the, the program spit out a copy of that file that I just browsed to and I showed you. So now I can take this and I'm going to, I don't want it on my desktop, I actually want to put it um, on removable storage so in case something ever happens to this particular computer, you know, say somebody steals my computer or, or the computer dies or whatever, uh, if I didn't have that copy of my wallet file somewhere else, then I wouldn't be able to access my wallet and I'd be in trouble. Okay, so, but because I have that DAT file, let's assume that this computer completely crashes, right? What I would do is I would go and I would get another computer and I would download a new Litecoin wallet. But after I downloaded the wallet, I would browse to that folder like I just showed you. I would remove the wallet.dat file that appeared in that folder because that's a new one. It came with the new wallet that I just downloaded and I'd paste the uh, the other wallet. Dot, the one that I just saved. I'd paste that wallet.dat file in that folder. So that way when I opened up Litecoin it would run off of my original wallet.dat file and it would reload all of the information and reload everything that I needed, my addresses, my coin balance, and everything else. So hopefully that's easy enough to understand. Like I said, you don't have to know how to do that right now. As long as you can do this part, click Backup Wallet, take it and save that file somewhere, preferably save it in a couple places, you'll be all right because I guarantee you if someone runs off with your computer it won't take you that long to uh, figure out how to paste that file into the appropriate folder and restart your wallet. Hopefully that helps.